Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the exhibition. I am the Scarlet Seeker, and this is Barotrauma. So picking up on our last part of our uh, of our little uh, campaign, we've moved. We did. We did move across here. One little. One little mission to Molovsk Station. Now, ultimately. It is a campaign, I think we're going to meander. If you have a look at the world map, if you want to call it that, we're on this weird sort of planet. And I believe this would be our end goal, is to go in here. But if you hover over this, or click on it, uh, we need to wait for a future version. Now, it's obviously we're not going to get there today anyway, so it's not a big deal. But I believe inward is the, uh, is the goal. The Hives of Mori. Look at that. See, I think we could get there. So that'll keep us busy. Right, so. So ever inward would be the plan. But right now we kind of have a binary decision. I suppose we could go back, right? And I played this a little bit with some mates as well. You can play the campaign sort of in a multiplayer setting. And we did notice that um, some of these, like, bases started I like I'm pretty sure we're getting set up at places like see how we've got like these natural formations but as time went by the landscape seemed to change I'm pretty sure anyway so we've got an option we could go to the the Sisu habitation outpost or we could go to Inno Linnea which is a natural formation very interesting well first let's have a look here let's have a look and just double check that's our our crew, of which we have four, which is wonderful. And if we could hire people, we would, but we can't, so we won't. In fact, it's going to be a long time before we could hire. Just having extra hands is like the best thing ever, especially in single player. Now, other players beat bots any time of the week, but um, if you're single player, the more bots, the better. Um, which is an unusual thing to say. Usually you hate bots. So I do run around and do stuff my own self a lot in this, but... Now, 970 bucks. There's a lot of stuff we could buy. And I don't... It's one of those things until we... You know, until it's clear what we need, we won't know what we need. And repair... I don't think we actually need to do any repairs. And we can and it's one of those things we can just do it all ourselves anyway. So let's have a look. If you click on these, we'll have missions available. Killing a Moloch. Five thousand. I get the feeling that that's a that's a big five thousand's a big step towards a payday sort of thing. Medical item transfer or transport and terminate a swarm, right? Now, a swarm might be doable. Remember, we're in a small submarine as well. I don't think we want to go straight for this Moloch thing. I think that might be a good way to suicide. Item transport, definitely possible, 500. But I think, you know, you've got to take slightly larger bites as well. We've got to make progress. We've got to get comfortable. So my thought is, yeah, let's do that. Terminate a swarm. A small swarm of crawlers has been terrorizing vessels traveling between Molovsk Station and Sisu Habitation Outposts. A reward of a thousand credits has been promised to any crew who can neutralize it. So we'll do just that. So we'll go start. I actually really like this game. It is, uh, as far as a multiplayer experience, it's so good. When all the boys are switched on, right? If you want to meme and screw around, this probably isn't the one. And you see a lot of videos of that. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe if you all wanted to meme. <laughs> but, um... Alright, so let's go. You get on the operate reactor. Power it up, baby. We'll get you on the guns. You can, uh... You jump on the bottom gun. Fire at will. And you know what, we'll chuck you on the top gun just for just for a little bit of extra backup. Alright, so we've got a bit of juice going, so that's nice. Okay, cool. We'll have to just keep an eye on the on those. How are we looking in all our compartments? Everything is looking pretty good. Everything's looking fine. We've got our radar going. Wonderful. Cool. So this should be Oh look, I don't want to say a cakewalk, but it should be pretty straightforward. So there's we're docked on the base, now we're gonna undock. Let's go. We're just going to vector off very gently. 
until it gives us full controls. There we go, now we've got it. No, 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 turn off autopilot, sorry, let's go. Now, the interesting thing, I, I we played a big multiplayer match. I'm, I think I've actually got some footage, so I may even put that up. But, um... I got quite used to running the reactor. Now, this vector is essentially like, um... I mean, if you if you know your way around vectors anyway, this isn't such a bad thing to understand. But just so you can tell, it gives you an idea of the sort of um, pedal to the metal. If I only make the vector small like this, you can see descent velocity, velocity goes right down. Whereas if I pull this right out, that's the equivalent of standing on the pedal, right? Now, it's not clear here immediately, but I'll explain. Down in the reactor room, you have a fusion rate, which is essentially your... It's like your fuel burn rate, if you think of it like that. Like how hard you want to pour gasoline into a fire sort of thing. And then there's a secondary one that flows on from that, and that's essentially your turbine uh, like power, like your wattage generated. So one follows the other. But the, the really interesting thing is... Um, oh, hang on, we've got a blip. We've got blips. We've got unfriendlies. Did I not put you on fire at will? Oh, I hope we don't crash. He's loading ammo. Good. You gotta be careful, there's dead bodies. Let's just make sure that's a body. It looks like a body to me. I think that we've killed everything. Good, so he went through a whole coil gun box, but that might have been already half empty anyhow. Um, so that's fine. Anyway, what I was saying about the reactor is, it has the turbine essentially, how, how hard it's generating electricity. Um, so the thing is, if I go from hard throttle like that down to this, his little control panel for the turbine f flogs up and down, and he's trying to keep it as close to center and draw and draw as best as possible. So it creates something of an interesting dynamic that you don't see in games very often, that it's not so much about pedal to the metal, it's about consistency. So if I was just to go like a race car everywhere, at least the turbine draw for the entire system isn't super... Um, it's not fluctuating. So then he can balance the fuel output and all that, and it's straightforward. If you're doing a lot of uh, vector huge changes, like long, short, long, short, long, short, down his turbine draw is going ballistic, and he's trying to manually keep it as close to efficient as possible. And if you do that, you can create all sorts of horrible power surges and that, and, you know, you could accidentally um, short the entire ship, which is cool. It makes sense. Anyway, we'll continue driving. Oh, we've got a blip there. Yeah, they look like they're drifting. Bringing all these dead bodies with us, eh? Looks like we've got another blip down here. Oh, he's closing in. Is he not? It looked like he is. Enemy down, very good. Alright. We're probably good. Alright, what we're actually going to do... We'll just go maintain position for a hot second. While I go... So you're on the bottom gun, and this guy up top... We'll go... I don't think we've got any leaks. Exactly, but you can go on repair. Yeah. There you go, perfect timing. In the command room, that's around here. Yeah, yeah, he's repairing a pump. So all, all of your equipment sort of degrades over time. Um, so we don't necessarily need that top gunner, because we're going downward. So this guy's, so he's just running around in the background doing his engineering rounds.
insufficient power. Look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I might have done exactly what I was saying you could do. I might have just overdrawn the... And that's the thing, you lose all steering control but you're still moving with momentum. Uh, it's a bit terrifying, isn't it? Alright. So I guess what I'm saying is as little in the sharp changes as possible. But then of course, you know, practice what you preach. I say that that's what you're supposed to do and then immediately go and not do it. Loading more fuel in the reactor. Okay, so the fuel rod might have run out. There's like four slots for fuel rods in there. You can run this little sub on one, but two is probably where it's the most comfortable, especially if you're doing lots of stuff. And it's one of those things like you have to turn your fusion rate right down low and then put the second fuel rod in. Wait, is that an enemy? That's an enemy behind us, it's shit. It's coming up into our blind spot. It's in our blind spot. Wait, there's something wrong. Is that it? That can't be right. Alright, that's it, I'm doing a CO's inspection. Autopilot. Maintain position. How's the ship looking? It's okay, we haven't got any noticeable issues. You jump on the top gun. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, good. Alright, well. What the fuck's going on? There's something going wrong. Um, we got a security officer, haven't we? Fight intruders. Do we have intruders? Fix leaks. Repair damage systems. We've got problems. Yeah, we might have had something attached to this hull. I'm going to check the ballast. We're okay. Where we got problems? Up top. There's, some, there's a hull breach on our main airlock up top. Hang on. What's going on? Oh my god, there's baddies everywhere. Shit. Um. Fuck me. Operate the top gun. I think that was it. Oh my god, hang on. Um, fix leaks, repairs. He's going up. Just be careful, mate. Okay. You gonna put that back when you're done with it? Shit. Alright, we're still getting some issues up top. Oh my god. Hostiles in airlock, oh fuck. Oh god! We're in deep shit now. Oh my god, we're in very deep shit. Everyone fight, 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 fight. I need a gun. I've got a, I've got a revolver. Let's get a spear gun. God. Oh my god. Alright, this is troubling. Okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. At least everyone's safe. Alright, we're gonna go operate weapon. Fire at will. Operate weapon. Fire at will. Alright. Oh shit, one of our blokes is dead. Hit it with a spear. F 
Fuck this thing. Get out of here. Oh, I'm out of spears. Alright, I'll put it down, finally. Oh my god. My dude's hurting. I'm bleeding. Oh no. Alright, like I said, get on the guns. How am I doing medically? I'm doing okay. Uh, Alright, I need a... I need a... Plasma cutter. No, 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 that's not what I need. What I need is... Shit, I need a... I need a welding torch. I don't have one of them. Um, here we go. We'll go to this emergency supplies. There'll be one in here. Oh, my God. Alright. Here we go. I can fix this. I can fix this. Alright. Come on. Jesus, they ripped right in. Wait, one of my dudes... One of my other dudes is dead? Oh, no. Let's just go repair damage system, heal and rescue, just in case that person's dying. Giving first aid to me, okay, that's good. Busted through all the doors. That's all it took was one thing to get attached to us. Shit, hang on. Do we have spare O2 in here? We do. Phew. Alright, let's get you doing... Uh... Repair damage systems. Jeez, we're going through the oxy. Oh, man. Yeah, we're out of... You know, we might see if we can... Do you put oxygen tanks in these things? No, you put welding fuel. What happens if I put an oxygen tank? Yeah, nothing. Fuck. out, so that's good. God damn, turn that radar off. Alright. I'm going to pinch that. We'll put this one back up there. We're going to need to refuel that. Wait, what, what is this? Above the ship. There should be a, a wrench in here. Very good. Oh, I need to I need to repair that with a screwdriver. Uh, screwdriver, I think, will be below decks. That's okay. The other guy's doing some repairs as well, so we'll just repair this. Oh man, rip my busted up crew. Bunch of those mud raptors got in though, holy heck. 
we're lucky to have lived through it. It occurs to me, as I was doing the guns at the end there, I mean, you could always go back through the footage and... and work it out. Um... I suspect... I made a mistake with the guns and I wasn't putting someone on the top gun. Like, it felt like the top gun was obscured. And so I didn't actually... You know, I was sort of cycling them through the bottom gun, and that's why they got in the top unmolested. Alright, how are we looking? Alright, we're looking okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna have to replace my battery because, uh... I won't... Oh my god. Look how big they are, too. Do you have any spare batteries in there? We don't. My dude, um, if I want to give commands, I'll need the battery to not be flat in my headset. So you can see it breaking up there. Uh, I think there might be spare batteries in storage. C4, let's not maybe, let's maybe not put that in my headset, eh? are back on. Is that guy hurt? Go on, uh, go on heal and rescue. Copy that. You're just going to stand still? Is that the... Okay. You know what, you just keep repairing. That's fine. Get a screwdriver. Dual wield. Let's get the power systems working again. Absolute task that was. Are you going to repair or do you just not repair electronics? Well, they seem to be pretty happy. Let's go get on the guns. Yeah, see, this gun up here was getting obscured. Put you on the top gun while I do these repairs. So it's slow going because my dude's not a mechanic, but such is life. slow going. Man. Fuck. Alright, get on the reactor, please. I'll keep repairing. Now, in multiplayer, there is actually a cool respawn mechanic, because you might be asking yourself, well, what if I died just then? Is that it? Do I have to sit out? What a crap game. No, 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 there's like a shuttle that'll come and attach to the airlock after, after like five minutes or something like that. So, if you do die in the middle of a crisis... I, th I told you to fix the reactor, are you not gonna... What are you doing? Alright, well you get on the gun, just because I'm terrified. Where is it? Where is the get on gun button? Alright, you're the security officer, okay. Let's turn that off. Wait, 
Alright, what are you doing? Turn that off as well. Fuel rod's dead, okay. Um, geez, we've only got one fuel rod. Oh dear. Oh man, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Ugh! 